Hello everyone, my name is Guo Minzhang, and today I'm going to talk about our work ERE, Defending Against Dolphin Attack via Acoustic Attenuation. This is joint work with Professor Xiao Yuji, Xinfeng Li, uh, Professor Gang Qu, and Professor Wen Xu. Before everything, let me just uh, briefly introduce what is Dolphin Attack. Dolphin Tech modulates audible voices over ultrasounds to inject malicious commands silently into voice assistants and manipulate controlled systems, such as making a phone call, visiting a website, or controlling smart home devices, which opening up all kinds of opportunities for attackers. Now, I will show a demo of Dolphin Tech on iPhone X. The audible voice command is how the weather today and played by the attack device at a distance of 20 meter. And we can see that the inaudible voice command can be successfully recognized and executed. Uh, the Dolphin attack works on most of the tested smart devices and voice assistants, including Siri, Alexa, OK Google, and so on. Now the question is how to defend against dolphin attack. Existing researchers is use nonlinearity effect based method or guard signal based method to detect dolphin attack. However, the traces left by nonlinearity effect are device dependent. For instance, the amplitude skewness, one of the main features used for nonlinearity are valid with Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, but are not valid for iPhone SE. The guard signal-based method are not only rely on extra ultrasound devices, but also require to constantly emit ultrasound. Uh, which has shown to induce health issues and repair paths. In this paper, we explore a new robust approach which requires no extra hardware. The key idea is utilizing the attenuation difference between sound and ultrasound to detect of an attack. Acoustic attenuation describes that the intensity of an acoustic wave decreases as the wave propagates in the media. Here, we introduce two main sources for the acoustic attenuation. The first one is the Stokes law of sound attenuation, and the second one is the diffraction. From equation 1 and 2, the intensity of sound decreases exponentially with distance and frequency. Therefore, high frequency signals received by different microphones placed at different positions will differ more than low frequency signals. Uh, the fraction refers to when sound moves around obstacles, it can bend to go around obstacles. Here is an example of diffraction phenomenon. Uh, from the figure, we can see that a shadow region is produced behind the uh, cylinder, and with the increase of frequency, the sound field becomes more non-uniform. Based on the acoustic attenuation, we can conclude that the incident wave with different frequencies will produce totally different sound field, which suggests that it might be possible to detect an inaudible voice attack by measuring and analyzing the sound field from the microphones or smart devices. Then, the first question is, how to sufficiently measure the sound field. To fully measure the sound attenuation property, uh, the microphones on smart devices should be located at different positions and facing different directions. Then the, the traditional uh, plain microphone array can be replaced by the three-dimensional microphone array. Next, we will model the attenuation of audible and inaudible sound in the process of propagation 
based on a microphone array with five microphones. When the sound is an audible single tone, the recorded signal of each microphone can be expressed as equation 3. The tenuation transfer function H is affected by distance, obstacle, and the sound frequency. Uh, and when the sound is amplitude modulated ultrasound, after nonlinearity, the received signal can be expressed as equation 4. Compared with the case of audible sound, the attenuation of attack signal is also related to carrier frequency. As the attenuation will increase with the frequency, the received signals of different passes are much more different. Uh, to verify the above analysis, we also design a simulation to illustrate the sound field difference between audible and inaudible sound using console. From the figures, we can clearly see that the difference of sound received by microphones is smaller than the difference of uh, ultrasounds. Um, then how to utilize the physical property? Uh, to utilize it, we design a array. Now, I will introduce the, de the design of a array based on acoustic attenuation. This figure shows the overview of the system architecture. The voice commands are first captured by the built-in microphones. Uh, after pre-processing, three representative features are extracted. ERE makes use of the three key features and the support vector machine to identify inaudible voice commands. Uh, we also propose a band power based uh, localization method to infer the direction of the attacker. Now, the key question is which kinds of features can represent the sound field distribution? and are useful for classification. In this paper, we selected three features. The first one is the range of band powers of multi-channel signals, uh, standard duration of band powers, and uh, the correlation coefficient between the spectral of the first two largest signals. This figure shows the process of feature extraction. Now I will move to the evaluation of our system. Uh, as we don't have the permission to record the multi-channel sound on smart devices, uh, we designed two prototypes based on the structure of the smart speaker and smartphone. Uh, the experiment setup is shown in the left fig. The signal generator is used for modulating the voice commands, uh, played by a smartphone, and then emitting the inaudible voice commands with the three narrow band with ultrasonic transducer arrays. The central frequencies uh, are 25, uh, 13, 2, and uh, 14 kHz, respectively. The audible voice commands will be played by the Bluetooth speaker GBR Go, which is controlled by an iPhone X. Now I will show some impact factors on ERA. With the distance of with the increase of distance, the sound field that is scattered from the speaker will change accordingly. In this experiment, the distance R is set to uh, 13 to uh, 300 cm. From the experiment results, we can see that the true positive rate and the true negative rate don't have a obvious change. Uh, the incident angle determines the position relationship between sound source and uh, the file microphones. 
uh, which directly influenced the energy distribution of uh, at each microphone. To explore the impact of incident angle, we do the following experiments at a distance of uh, 16 cm with different angles. Uh, we, we can see that as the value of theta gradually increases, the true positive rate and the true negative rate are not obvious changes and remain close to 100%. And the result are the same in the left figure, uh, which indicates that the performance of ERE doesn't affect by angle. We also discussed three possible invasion techniques since an attacker with the knowledge of the detection method could come up with various invasion strategies. The first one is hiding behind an obstacle. This figure shows the attack scenario. Uh, we can see the obstacle is the same size of a victim device. And uh, we can see that no matter when the attack trans transduce array is far or near to the obstacle, the array succeeded in detecting the existence of the inaudible signals with high accuracy. <clears throat> the second one is surrounded by walls. When the smart speaker is close to walls, Acoustic reflection from walls will influence the distribution of the sound field, which might be leveraged by the adversaries. As shown in the left figure, um, the accuracy changes slightly at different uh, distances and remains about 97.8%. The last one is multiple speaker injection. In this experiment, we use two identical transducer arrays to evaluate the effectiveness of uh, ear array. Uh, the two speakers simultaneously play the same inaudible voice command. The distance between speaker 1 and the microphone array is uh, 16 cm, while the distance between speaker 2 and the microphone array is changing from 20 cm to 100 cm with 20 cm as the step. From the left figure, we observe an interesting result. When the value of d2 is equal to d1, the accuracy decreased to 91.1%. This means that multiple speakers can really make the sound field more uniform and reduce the accuracy of ERA. To improve the performance of detecting multi-speaker injection, a more sophisticated structure of the three-dimensional microphone array should be studied. We leave this to future work. Uh, we use the smartphone prototype to evaluate the effectiveness of uh, ERA, whereby the microphone array design mimics actual smartphones. As we can see that the ERE has a good performance on the smartphone when the number of microphone is 3. In summary, we propose a method that can not only detect inaudible words command attacks, but also identify the direction of attacker. We have conducted plenty of experiments to prove the feasibility of ERE. The results show that ERE can achieve 99% accuracy for attack detection and 97.9% uh, localization accuracy. Our future work includes overcoming the problem that mobile phones cannot read multi-channel data simultaneously, uh, extracting field patterns from more different types of voice assistance devices, and uh, hopefully generalizing our defense algorithm for all voice assistance devices. And that's it. Thank you. Uh, any questions?